day of baby watch today is Tuesday and we are leaving the children's museum right now we just got done playing so I brought JJ here to just get some energy out and play a little bit I wanted to go on like a really long walk today I was gonna put him on his like radio flyer bike that we have and just go for like a really long walk but when I woke up it was like pouring rain and it's still like really cold outside so that was a no-go so we couldn't do that so I brought him here to get some energy out. He's having a pouch back there right now. We're gonna stop and I'm probably just gonna go through a McDonald's drive through and get a Coke because I'm really craving a soda right now and I don't have any more at home right now. So I'm gonna stop and do that. I have a lot of things that I wanna get done today. Kind of like finish up some last minute things that I haven't done yet. I want to pack her diaper caddy and make some padsicles and put them in the freezer and just clean up a little bit. So I'm probably gonna do that when we get home once I lay him down for a nap. If you guys are not already, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my baby watch videos and my birth vlog once I do have her because I do plan to film a birth vlog. So make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So while I was cooking lunch, JJ took a marker to the carpet. I thought he was sitting down watching TV. So I'm spraying it with this resolve stain remover this is all we have for the carpet so hopefully that's gonna take it out because as you can see it's everywhere okay so that stuff works really really well it's pretty much all gone I can still like slightly see it on a couple of spots but a million times better than what it was so I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then vacuum over it but this guy can't believe you did that JJ can't believe you did that okay so I'm about to put together this diaper caddy to keep in the living room so I have the diaper caddy right here it's all like folded up I need to open it but I've got these wipes. These are like sample wipes that I got. So I'm just going to throw all these in here and use all those first. I'm probably going to put a couple binkies in there. This is my Haka pump. So that is definitely going in there as well. Along with this nursing cover. Just so that I have one handy if I need it. If we have like people come over or anything like that. And then I'm going to throw this Baby Ganix foaming hand sanitizer in there. I have my lanolin nipple cream that I'm going to put in there desitin for in case she gets a diaper rash and then I'm also going to be putting a burp cloth in there and then of course diapers so I'm gonna put all that together real quick our hospital bags are ready to go and then this is her bassinet it's ready to go as well I just put this on here and then down here at the bottom is where I have all her extra blankets swaddle blankets and my Moby wrap and then over there is my breast pump, storage bags, things like that. So.
literally took like two minutes, but I have everything in there. Diapers, wipes, all my breastfeeding stuff is over here. And my lanolin's right there. Everything else I put in this pocket. And I put a few different binkies just because I don't know what she's gonna like. So I just have like a few different brands in there, but yeah, this is ready to go. <laughs> made a few petsicles. I didn't use them with JJ, so I don't know if I'm going to like them or if they're going to help. So I only made a few. I also put together a little like postpartum basket in the bathroom for me. A few things I still don't have because they'll give it to me at the hospital, like the Dermaplast, which is like the numbing spray, and then the medical grade honey. That helped me so much postpartum with JJ. So when I get home from the hospital, I will obviously add those things to the basket. So it is quite a while later now. JJ's up from his nap. I've been doing a bunch of laundry. I folded like three loads of laundry and I've washed two more and there's still another load I wanna get done today. So I've been working on all that and I just sat down and did a grocery list because we're gonna need to go to the grocery store here in a couple days because JJ's like almost out of snacks and lunch stuff and all that. We really need to restock like we're super low we've been only shopping for like a few days at a time and just eating what we have here because we don't know when I'm gonna go into labor and I really don't wanna stock up on a ton of food and then it go bad while we're in the hospital and while JJ's staying at our friend's house whenever I am in the hospital. So we've only been buying for a few days at a time but we really need to go to the store so I just put a little list together and we'll probably do that Friday after my doctor's appointment if I haven't gone into labor yet. And then we've been buying like really easy meals to make pretty much all from trader joe's and that's probably what we'll do again here in a couple days is go back i still need to fix this sign back here it says hello pumpkin still i need to change it so it says something christmas but i pretty much finished decorating for christmas as well i think i want to buy some more some new christmas stockings because the ones that we have don't really go with like the theme that i'm doing this year so i really think i want to buy some new ones and then I'll hang those up as well. This is kind of what else I've done. I just have a couple mugs out and I put these little bows on the cabinets and I have them up there as well. Hey! <laughs> the living room is kind of messy right now. I still need, I need to like vacuum and stuff, but I've done a little bit to the bar cart. I have a couple things on there. I'm still probably gonna add some more stuff, but that's what I have right now. It's looking very Christmassy in here, huh, JJ? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some different stuff to do with this sleigh. I think we're gonna buy a little tree to go in it and then I'm going to kind of like wrap up some small boxes to look like presents and put them in there and then maybe buy some like mini ornaments and just kind of like throw all that in the little sleigh right there. And then I'll get some flowers to put in there. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. And we have these cute little candy cane placemats. And I wanted to show you guys, look how cute this is. I found this in the Target dollar spot. I think it was like $3. And it's just like a weekly planner and it's so cute. And there's so, there's like a ton of pages on here, but. I love it. I have mine for this week and I just put it in here inside my binder and I love this. I started doing this binder. Got all my stuff in it. This is the grocery list I was just working on, but I've started playing it out like my YouTube videos and my Instagram photos. That's what I have right now for this week. Although it could obviously change if I go into labor, 
but and then I've got my list here for Black Friday I went through the Black Friday ads that are already out and put what I want to get and all that like what we want to look for hopefully we can go Black Friday shopping if not I'm just gonna do it online obviously depending on when I have her and then I've got a little Christmas shopping list right here and I wrote down JJ's presents and sisters and all that and then my plan for Thanksgiving. This is our Thanksgiving menu. And then I have another one that's our actual grocery list. So I've got all that done and ready to go for the holidays. Oh, but Target also had, they had like a Christmas shopping list one and a couple different like weekly planner ones. I think they had a meal plan one as well. So if you're looking for some good like organizing things for the holidays, Definitely check the Target Dollar Spot because they had just a ton. Mm -hmm. 